Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we have some good news for you guys today and I'm so fucking pleased with it myself. I cannot believe I'm leading this news title. The fact that the Boris Johnson has officially announced that the UK will not be agreeing with the European Union on a trade deal and actually will be going towards a no deal scenario. One I've been fucking calling for for ages and it's absolutely fantastic. I know I'm a bit slow on this video but I had to make sure I wasn't just leading fake news but it seems to be over the weekend since the announcement on Friday we are leaving the European Union on December the 31st with no deal and I was a bit concerned about, about it myself but let's go and listen to the Prime Minister himself talking about it because you know take it from the man who's going to make this whole thing possible the only thing you've fucking done this year that we've actually wanted you to do Boris Johnston. Talking about Brexit, and he has warned that uh, the UK should get ready for a no deal style a Brexit, an Australia type situation, uh, saying that the EU, EU have refused to negotiate. Let's listen in now to the Prime Minister. From the outset, we were totally clear that we wanted nothing more complicated than a Canada style relationship based on friendship and free trade. To judge by the latest EU summit in Brussels, that won't work for our EU partners. They want the continued ability to control our legislative freedom, our fisheries, in a way that is completely unacceptable to an independent country. And since we have only 10 weeks until the end of the transition period on January the 1st, I have to make a judgment about the likely outcome and to get us all ready. And given that they have refused to negotiate seriously for much of the last few months, and given that this summit appears explicitly to rule out a Canada-style deal, I've concluded that we should get ready for January the 1st with arrangements that are more like Australia's, based on simple principles of global free trade. And we can do it, because we always knew that there would be change on January the 1st, whatever type a relationship we had. And so now is the time for our businesses to get ready and for our hauliers to get ready, for travellers to get ready. And of course, we're willing to discuss the practicalities with our friends, where a lot of progress has already been made, uh, by the way, on such issues as social security and aviation, nuclear cooperation, and so on. But for whatever reason, it's clear from the summit that after 45 years of membership, they are not willing, unless there is some fundamental change of approach, to offer this country the same terms as Canada. And so with high hearts and with complete confidence, we will prepare to embrace the alternative and we will prosper mightily as an independent free trading nation controlling our own borders, our fisheries and setting our own laws. And in the meantime, the government will of course be focusing on tackling covid and building back better so that 2021 is a year of recovery and renewal. Thank you very much. So yes, we are leaving the European Union, thank God. But the thing is, Boris Johnson said a few things I thought was quite unsettling there, or I'm worried for, because... Yes, we are leaving the European Union, but he never said we're going to leave on WHO, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to leave on a no-deal scenario, but it's okay. The BBC actually did their job this time and questioned them on it, because he never actually, you know, said we're going to leave on WHO. He said that we're willing to compromise, or the if the European Union is willing to change their fucking mind. You, you saw it himself. I'm not saying it. I'm not watching it again. And... Well, the BBC call him up on it. Let's watch. You said that you'd walk away from talks with the EU about a trade deal if there wasn't significant progress by now. It doesn't sound as though that is what you're doing. Can you just clarify why you're not walking away? Well, I, as far as I can see, they've abandoned the idea of a, of a free trade deal. There doesn't seem to be uh, any progress coming from, from Brussels. So what we're saying to them is only, you know, come here, come to us. if if there's some fundamental change of approach. Otherwise, we're more than happy to talk about, you know, the practicalities that I described, the 
social security issues, road haulage, and, uh, and so on. But unless there's a fundamental change of approach, we, we're going to go for the Australia solution. And we should do it with great confidence, as I said, high hearts confidence, because we can do it. There was always going to be change on January the 1st, uh, but it's becoming clear that the, the EU don't want to do the type of Canada deal that, uh, you know, we originally asked for. And it, it does seem curious that uh, after 45 years of, of membership, they can offer uh, our membership, they can offer Canada terms they won't offer us. But you're saying they've got to come to you with some fresh ideas about negotiations. Are you saying you are walking away or you're not walking away? Well, if there's a fundamental change of approach, of course, we're always willing to listen, but um, didn't seem particularly encouraging from uh, the summit in Brussels uh, yesterday and today. Yes, that is true. Not very encouraging to see the Prime Minister not even talk about W. T.O. exit on that kind of manner. Only if the European Union is willing to compromise, they like the fuck they will. But we know what they're like. They haven't actually changed their plan for four years. Five years, actually. And the Remainers have been on the fucking ball the entire time. Now, I'm just telling you this now before you get bored in this video. Do not watch the news on this subject. Do not watch the BBC, ITV, or fucking Sky on this subject because... They are 100% behind the European Union. And it's already evident so far that we're all they put in Operation Fear, Operation Scaremongering, has been put on Operation to make sure everyone is scared for WTO Brexit for the 10 weeks and then it's all going to end and it's all going up like the game of Watch Dogs. It's not. It's not, guys. We've, we've got trade negotiations around the world. It's fucking amazing. It's not like we're gonna be trader american that's the only fucking one that we're with we're not we actually have allies in the world we haven't changed that much so anyway some good news from this subject he mentioned the thing about the canada style deal like i said there canada style deal is very easy it's all the trade barriers and the trade free trader uh, between canada and european union and the only thing is there's not political alignment between canada and europe that's all we ask for but for me, I prefer for no deal. If they want to do a free trade deal, that's fine. But the thing is, they're not compromising. But remember this. Who was the first one to tell us that we could go for a Canada-style deal? Was it Boris? No. Was it Theresa May? No. Was it Nigel Farage? No. Who was it? Oh, yeah. It was the European Union who said that themselves. They were willing to go for that kind of scenario and they will be very happy for it. But it's okay. We got some news from the background that all the Brexiteers are quite happy with this idea. But the man himself, Nigel Farage, obviously pointed out the Canada-style deal was always impossible given withdrawal agreement. Boris now is leeching for the right solution. Although I prefer he just goes complete WTO on it. And even Chris Lowe said no deal is getting very close. We'll have to see it. There's also another guy who's going to confirm it's a WTO. Sir David Frost himself. He's actually saying from the actual saying that the EU summit has been very disappointing. This is what concluded the entire decision of the Boris's decision to go out of the European Union negotiations. And wow. Sir David Frost says it was disappointing that Conclusions of the EU-UK negotiations supplies the EU is no longer committed to work intensely with future partnership as agreed by Angela von der Leyen on October the 3rd. Remember that? She told everyone we're going to work in a close alignment. It's just another one of the lies that they keep fucking telling us. It's absolutely fucking hysterical, actually. And he also says, it's also supplies the suggestion that agreement all future moves must come from the UK. Is that... Usual approach considering a negotiation, which is absolutely fucking amazing to hear. So it's all going to be coming from our point, and that's why Michel Barnier is now in the fucking shit, and all the EU negotiators are going mad at him for fucking this up. And, well, honestly, it was never going to work anyway. It was the European Union that wasn't going to compromise, and Michel Barnier is just another EU negotiator that does not understand UK wants independence. Kind of sounds like the Scottish argument, but it's different. You can see there's massive support from lots of Brexiteers. It's absolutely amazing to see that actually coming about. And even from 
Apologies if I say her name on Bendera, the Lucy. I saw that you can see the tweet here. Saying to David Frost's tweet, original tweet, David, you have done everything against the immortal machine. Driven by ide ideology and above anything else, respect, but there is no justification for handing over power to, to the EU than what is normal needed for the FTA. We stand with you standing firm. And thank God to some people in the European Union actually standing with us for that. And it's actually caused an entire argument amongst the European Union themselves. Because they know this is going to fuck them up more. Way more than it's going to fuck the UK up. As even Portuguese news I've seen that's saying, ah, the UK is leaving negotiations. And it's going to be a probably no deal scenario. And it's going to suffer Portugal more than it is going to suffer the UK. It's going to suffer a lot of people because now the money is going to be coming from Germany, France and Ireland as I think the top three ones now. And Ireland is already screwed and we can already see the fabric of the EU empire crumbling before our knees. So this is good news. Hopefully the negotiations go terribly and we can leave a WTO on the very first. Ten weeks to go guys. Fucking see ya. So guys, thank you for watching this video straight to the very end, so I must have done something like that you've been able to watch this piece of shit long enough. So, thank you guys for watching this video right to the end, and if you want to support my channel in any other way, because we are planning to go big on this channel, we are planning to make sure the left knows us, make sure the cancel culture recognizes we are a threat, like me and many other creators, our voices are being silenced every and each day. So we must make sure we stand out to the cloud. And I am going to make sure my voice and freedom of speech is going to be there too. And if you want to help me support this, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Parler and Patreon. We're also on BitChute and we also have our own website. So if you want to know any special details, make sure you click onto the Parler app and the bit shoot so we can get more content on this for the special members on those pages and you get to see more events about what I'm doing it's going to be a lot of interesting stuff you get to see on those things so make sure you sign up to all these different pages where you want to get to see what I'm doing and we could get a lot of interesting stuff going on here guys so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one and remember hail the empire